My mat flaps have finally arrived and I'm going to show you guys how to fit them to the X250. I did do a video on my old X250 many many years ago so I showed them already fitted but I didn't quite show you guys how to fit them. So today I'm going to show you guys how to fit these. I got these off eBay and these are genuine Jaguar ones um, even though they didn't come from Jaguar themselves and I didn't really pay too much for them. I had to wait a hell of a long time. I must first clean the area up where I'm going to fit them because my car is very very dirty and it needs a wash. So I'm first going to fit them and then wash my car after that. So I'll show you guys how I do this. So just to give you an idea this is the clean part that I've just cleaned and that is how dirty my rear bumper is. So it does need a good wash but I can't wash it right now, I don't have the time, so I'm going to go ahead and fit the flaps and show you guys how to do it. So I'm just going to quickly unbolt these. They look like uh, number 10s to me, so I'm going to try number 10 and see, it. although it could be a number 8 actually, I'll confirm that now. So I'm just going to undo the bottom one first. And by the way, these are number eights. That's what they look like. Now this is the one at the bottom. I think that's enough. Now the car's original washers are too big to fit on these mud flaps and as you can see there it's just it's going to force the screw in skew and what they supplied with these mud flaps are these screws and these screws are around about the same size as the ones that were in the car and these would do a better job on the mud flap than the car's washers. So I'm actually going to use a star screwdriver now to get these on the car. Okay, I think that top one is, is in. Well, it looks like it is holding. So I'm going to leave it at that and then all we have to do is get this bottom one in now. And now it's just a case of lining up this bottom hole with the screw. And there we go, one rear mud flap fitted. And these actually say Jaguar, not Jaguar as the other ones used to say from Aliexpress but that's a nice flush fit as you can see there on the edge of the bumper so all we have to do is get the front one on now so these just come loose with a star screwdriver and I'm not very confident that these are going to hold these mud flaps in because these things just are not very strong I can't get that one off as it is and I can't get this one off, it's just turning as well. Let's see if I hold that thing in place. Hmm. They've been on the car for a very long time, so chances are they're just not going to want to come off. Let's see if it'll come out now. Nope. I'm going to have to just do it the hard way the easier way. So I'm just removing the screw from the clip and get the clip in there and pop it in and get the screw in there. Let's 
and we can put some pressure on that. So that's what the flap looks like attached to the car. But this here is loose. As you can see, it can come away from the car. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and use one of their screws because their screws are, they're, well, they're not exactly self-tapping screws, but I'm gonna try and use a smaller self-tapping screw to make a hole through the flap and then the fender liner and then get one of these in there. So as you can see, I've tapped a hole using a self-tapping screw through the mud flap and into the fender liner of the car. I'm now going to get their screw through there and get it to tap into both the flap and the fender liner. I'm just hoping I can get the fender liner to grab because <laughs> it's... I'm just going to get it through the mud flap first and then see if I can get it lined up with that hole that I've made on the fender liner. It's not going to pull away from the edge now. So just to show you, that is the crud that fell out from under the bumper. So, you know, I don't know how many years worth of crap that is, but uh, a mud flap stopped that from happening. I haven't even stepped back to get a look at it myself, so you guys are going to see it with me now.